Hey guys, it's Nathan here, Mom's Girl here. I, Gilly Sniper, here today, bringing you a domination on the map village. And today we're gonna be talking about two topics. One um, is this pretty much, I'd say, um, semi high school drama. And uh, second one is what's the best Call of Duty or favorite Call of Duty, in my opinion, or whatever controversial thing. Anyways, for the first topic. Um, uh, this one chick in my school is saying, you know, thinks I'm obsessive and stalkerish, and I'm gonna go into detail a little bit and uh, how this is, uh, I guess, planning out or <laughs> not planning, how it's turning out. Anyways, this one chick, I really don't have feelings for, her, and you know, I don't really like any of the girls in my school because honestly, I just don't think they're my type, and I, and whatever, you know. Yada yada this. I don't I'm not gonna talk about relationships, but I'm making this video to try to make a point and get my word out before all these rumors are spread. So I really don't care what anybody has to say about me. Well obviously I do. Or else I wouldn't be making this video, but anyways. This one chick I met her in eighth grade and we used to text a little bit or I say a little bit, yeah. And then one day, which was in summer or last summer, yeah, actually, she started to, she stopped texting me, and, you know, I was worrying about what did I do wrong or something like that, so I asked her what's wrong if, and why, if you're mad at me or not, and obviously I got an answer, and she never texted me again until November, and then I talked to her a little bit, nope, oh, that was another text, sorry about that, I talked to her a little bit, no, I never really talked to her in person, last time I talked to her in person was like the start of the year, but I texted her um, in November, and what happened uh, was I asked her the same question again. This was the same question asked within a three month, a four or five month period. So keep in mind, I'm not repetitively asking this question. It was, what's wrong? You know, some problem because I thought she was having issues with me, and I wanted to uh, you know fix them. Well, she didn't want to tell me the problem, and I got you know blocked on Facebook, I guess you could say. And uh, what happened was um, now uh, four months later from November, which is, you know, this month, March, I texted her yesterday, and I still wanted to know, I was curious, like, what's so wrong, like, what's, if you aren't, why, just, why ignore me, right, and, uh, I got the answer saying, please leave me alone, you know, please leave me alone, I asked her, you know, I told her, you know, I'm sorry if I did anything wrong, and I really didn't know if I made you mad or not, and then she's like, please leave me alone. And then my last response was, "Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be a friend, and it's it's not working out. So bye, peace." And then I get us one message. Now this is the I mean you know this is a serious topic, but this is where the comedy part of it makes it you know while it's worth listening to, um actually you know makes it whatever blah blah blah. I got a text back saying the customer review have reached, and then in parentheses I had her number is currently is currently unavailable. Please contact your local AT&T for more details. Now you're probably thinking, hey, this is a real AT&T message. No, it's not a real AT&T message because, first of all, AT&T does not send you a message from a person's phone under their number. And second of all, the word contact was misspelled. And I'm not a grammar Nazi, but I'm not I'm not dumbass either. But um, the gr the gr <laughs> contact in this spell and AT&T was not capitalized and you know it was like you know this girl really does not like me she just hates me and it's true and then the next day or today her friends come up to me you know I have no problem with their friends I know I actually know some of them I really don't talk to them though it's basically oh I know this person because I saw her on Facebook <laughs> stuff you know well they came to ask me like why am I stalking her and why I'm obsessed with her and what really really makes me wonder is how am I stalking her or am I how am I obsessed with her? When yesterday it was the first time I texted this one person in four to five months, trying to get an answer and pretty much try to get constructive feedback and how to improve myself. And then they're calling me obsessive. Well, not really calling me obsessive, they're ask questioning me. And you know, I don't know what's so obsessive if you don't have any feelings for some person or anything. Obsessive, in my opinion, the word means is where you completely just always talk to them 24-7 always want to plan things with them always follow them around at school and I do none of those 
So how can I fall into any category? I can't fall into a stalker or obsessive. I don't like the chick, for Christ's sake. I don't like her as a friend anymore because of the things, you know, like I'm saying right now. But pretty much, what this is adding up to me is I know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up just taking online school because I can't stand this anymore. The, the rumors are going to spread. Everybody's going to call me a stalker. And all these, these my uh, friends will turn against me. I mean, I can. it's just like some freaking, like, some TV show. I mean, it's planning out to be one. I'm, I'm not lying. One person can literally ruin your whole reputation. And apparently this one person I was nice to is doing it to me. But then again, I'm too nice. And I really need to start, um, I guess, holding grudges, which is kind of sad to say. So... Apparently, I have one person on my list now I know not to help anymore. And I actually have another person, but I'm not going to get into that one person because, oh god, it'd be too long. But yeah, pretty much in the situation now that um, I, I just, you know, I can't stand it. I'm, I'm getting threatened to be have charges called against me when I can't really get charged for anything because I, I didn't harass anybody in any way. I didn't, see, I didn't sexually harass anybody in any way. Like, who in the world would do that anyways? I'm not one of those douchebags that do that. But, trying to throw charges against me with no reason. I mean, oh, he was obsessive or stalkish. How am I stalking you or obsessive? I just went through this. But anyways, if any of her, your friend, her friends are watching this or you're watching this, you know, I don't know how in the world I'm being stalkish, obsessive, and I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, no, there's no point in talking to you at school because you try to avoid me. So, you know, what's the point? See, you, if, you, if you're claiming to say I'm obsessive and or stalkerish and you're not willing to give me a, a reason or at least tell me what my issue is, then why, Then you have no valid points. You can't just say something is cool. And this is an example. You can't just say something is cool because something is cool, right? It's like, oh, um, that, 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 that candy bar is so cool because it's cool. You can't do that because you have no valid reason to make a valid point. So, I mean, if you're going to call me stalker and obsessive, give me a point. And I've already proved my proved that I'm not a stalker. So, and you can't, if you like I said, if you can't give a valid point, don't even bother accusing me of doing anything because it's freaking down like pathetic. This, the school I go to is, oh, it's pathetic. It's just a hellhole. It's period hellhole drama everything and it's sad that guys have to put up with this crap it's really sad oh my god Duh, just seriously shut up god anyways so um that's done with that topic and i'm not gonna get back into it because i'll start raging a little more and it really just pisses me off to have somebody call me a stalker or a stalker or being obsessed with this one chick when i have no feelings for her i don't even talk to her at school i text her every once in a while so i'm done Screw it, I'm rude, I'm not gonna give any, I'm just not gonna give her any attention anymore, it's not worth it. And, uh, yeah, you know the nice side of me, <laughs> you'll never see it again. Anyways, that was to that one person. So the next topic is the best Call of Duty, and this is really controversial. You guys know that, as, um, I've changed my opinion over the best Call of Duty many times. So, uh, I've been qu asked the question, through PM, and, uh, through comments, what is your favorite Call of Duty? And... There's really two Call of Duties I love the most. World at War and COD 4. And now what what do both those guys, those games have in common? They have the 357 kill streak setup. So that means there's going to be less campers, it means there's going to be less tryhards. That means there's going to be less pretty much of everything because there's not much people camping for those um high little ghetto osprey gun uh, ghetto chopper gunners, you know. <laughs> points fingers at me. Um so you know there's less people to worry about and there's not much lag compensation in there and people think oh you hate the game because you have to go to the lame excuse of lag comp you know there's a perfect example of it on 402 thunder 402's channel he was turning the corner he looked into the corner there's no one there but all of a sudden there was a guy that killed him he watched the guy who killed him's kill cam and it showed him there in the corner the whole time so it is pretty valid to say that these games do have lag compensation, like the ones not caught for World of War. But any other game that has any of these like high end kill streaks and all this random factors put into the game does have the lag compensation and it does put in a major impact in the game. But anyways to sum it all up, favorite Call of Duty game is either Call of Duty Four or World of War. And why is it my favorite? I'm giving a valid point. <laughs> You know, less BS, and there's no, there's less light compensation, and there's no, not much camping, because who's going to camp for a freaking UAV? Well, apart, apart on uh, Mall for 3, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 1. But, 
In the meantime, since I have COD 4 on the PS3, I play there once in a while, and uh, I play mostly them all for 3 now, but I need some gameplay for Black Ops 2 for you guys. So I go on there for the gameplay, and I need some people willing to help contribute. What do I mean by contribute? Um, simply, uh, if you have a good gameplay, message me. I'll add you on PSN, I'll record it from your vault, and I'll put you in the YouTube video, give you a shout out, give you credit, and you know, since you helped me, I'll help you by helping you raise your channel. <laughs> and uh, for you guys that play Xbox, you can send me the uh, video clip. I mean, that'd be easy to. You can email it to me. I can give you my email, and you can do it that way. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay slash commentary. And uh, <clears throat> I'm pissed right now because of that. What happened today? And what's happened? I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not really afraid of anything happening. But the point is, you shouldn't have to put up with this crap in high school. It's pathetic. See you guys later. Peace.